So reach out today to the FOP kids and let them know how much all of us here at Fellowship of Praise love you and just can't wait until we all get back together again back here at Fellowship of Praise and be able to worship our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ right here and learn more about Him. And in the meantime, I just we've been praying for each of you out there, just hoping that you're safe, hoping that you're with your families or you're with some friends. And I just encourage you that if you're living in a home with your friends or with family, that you show extra love. There's people trying to feed you and trying to house you and there's there's a lot of hard times going right now and you need a lot of love in that home and in that family unit. Yeah. And if you're not having daily devotions, daily prayers, da daily Bible study, I ask you to encourage the adults in your home just to have a time of prayer. Just ask them, say, hey, can we pray together? Can we read the Bible together? Because I want you guys to stay strong until you get back here, back at Fellowship of Praise. and. I've told you guys many times that church is important, but it's not the main thing. The main thing is knowing Jesus and having Jesus in your heart and in your life. And we've had an amazing beginning year this year. We had so many of you that have accepted Jesus into your lives and into your hearts. But for some of you that didn't take that opportunity, I'd like you to have a chance now to pray with me because this is Holy Week. This is the week that we celebrate Jesus sacrificing himself and laying down his life for each of us. But then in the end, he rose again, so it's got a great ending. But I want to have, let you have this opportunity just to accept Jesus into your heart and into your life. So if you would bow your heads with me and just say, Lord Jesus, I thank you that you're my Lord, you're my Savior. I thank you that you died for me. I know that you are God and that you love me, that you created me, and that I'm special to you. And I give my heart and my life to you right now. And if you just said that prayer, you're on an amazing journey. A journey that you can just spend the rest of your life. Because Jesus said, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. I will be with you always. And so I would just encourage you that during this time get together with your family celebrate Jesus's resurrection and just celebrate this new life because do you know anybody or everybody that accepts Jesus into their heart there is a party in heaven they're celebrating not just for everybody but they're celebrating for you because you're special and God's called you out by name and he's wanting to spend all of his time with you. So love on him, pray to him, let him know how much you care about him. You know, you have a big advantage that I didn't have. When I was a boy, uh, I never went to church. You know, I didn't accept Jesus in my heart until I was older. But I remember when I was a couple weeks old, well, I don't remember, I heard the story. Um, when I was a couple weeks old, I had ammonia and they had to take me to the hospital. And when I got to the hospital, I was there for a few days and I got worse. And the doctors said, he, little Tommy's got double ammonia. And we don't know if we're gonna be able to help him. So a few days later, they told my dad, uh, he's not gonna make it. So my dad brought a priest in to read the last rites over me. But God had other plans. God said, no, this one's mine. And God let me live and he just, and brought me along until I was older. But I remember another time when I was seven years old because there was so many times in my life as a child that Satan, the devil, tried to kill me off. But God had other plans. And when I was seven years old, I was riding in the car with my mom. And we always uh, would go over this big hill when we would come back from my aunts. And I remember, don't do this, I remember standing up in the back seat of the car and I would say, Mom, drive faster, faster, because when she would go over that hill, we'd kind of just leave the ground just a little bit, and I loved it. And I was standing up in the back seat, and my mom went over the hill. Next thing we know, there's two trucks parked at the bottom of the hill. And my mom slams on her brakes, and the car turns sideways, and we flip. 
and we roll all the way down the hill and we get down to the bottom and I'm laying there, a little seven-year-old boy, laying there in a pile of glass, busted windows, we're up, the car's upside down with the tires sticking up in the air. And I look over and I see both them men just take off. And they left a mom and her little boy stranded there on the road. And I looked up front and I saw my mom and her face was just covered with blood. And I crawled my way through the glass and through the busted window and pulled my mom out. And when I got her out, she asked me to get her purse. I reached her purse and she wiped all the blood off of her. And the, the amazing thing was she only had one little cut above her eye. It just bled real bad. And I didn't have a scratch on me. And we're sitting there by the side of the road and the police and the ambulance showed up and they were taking us home. And the policeman said, you, it's amazing because all that gas could have exploded at any time. And if you would have rolled one more time, you would have rolled off the road down into a big ditch and you probably wouldn't have survived that. And he said, someone was looking out for you. And I didn't realize this until I was older, but I want you to know that Jesus will never leave you, never forsake you, he will always be there with you. He has got his handprint on you and on your heart and on your life. Love on him. Let him know this week how much you love him. This is the holy week, the, the week that he laid his life down. And just like he was there for me, if you're going through any hard times right now during this, this virus that we're facing in our land and in our world, I just like to say, hey, God's got you and God will lead you through this and God will help you and guide you and protect you. I want you to be safe. Uh, tell you what, we got a lot of things in store for you when you come back. So I'd love for you to be inviting your friends. Let them know that when, when we get here to Fellowship of Praise, we got a lot of, there's a lot of candy games. There's a lot of events that were going to be happen, happening here. But most of all, Jesus will be here and the Holy Spirit will be here. And you'll feel his love and his power. And I just want to thank you all. And I'll see you soon.